Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Corinne and I'm gonna be doing a video all about my six week postpartum update and also going over my son Israel's first month of life. So his one month update. I'm just gonna start off with everything about Israel and then we'll move into my six month postpartum update. First thing that I am going to say is he is an absolutely amazing sleeper. From day one, I have had to set alarms throughout the night to wake him up, to feed him. For the first couple of days of life, I didn't set alarms throughout the night because I thought that he would wake up like a normal newborn to feed but he would go four, five, six hours without feeding throughout the night. And with a newborn, especially of his size, who's born at five pounds, 12 ounces, I needed to be feeding him as much as possible. So after like the second night of him not waking up on his own until like five or six hours later, I decided to set alarms every three hours and then I moved up to every four and then I eventually moved to every five hours. And now at six weeks old, he turned six weeks old yesterday. I'm not setting alarms anymore because he's gaining so well and so quickly that there's no reason for me to be waking him up. He's always had his days and nights figured out. So he's never had them the opposite. Most newborns want to be awake all night long and sleep all day. But luckily, Israel has had his days and nights put together pretty well since day one. Hi guys, I just got home from work. I'll be in the room. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna go over just a few things that Israel hates. He hates his car seat still to this day. So especially the first couple weeks of his life because he was so tiny, I feel like car seats are not built to hold preemie sized babies or preemie babies in general. So he was like really squished in there like a little ball because he had no back control, no head control. So his head was always leaning forward, which would drive me crazy and scare the heck out of me. We always had to like figure out a way to like keep his head propped up and he just was never comfortable and never looked like good in there. He was always put in there properly and safely. He just doesn't like the big padding that we have right here by his neck. He hates it because it like squishes his face in and stuff. It's so cute, but he hates it. The other thing that he absolutely hates is hiccups. And he has them several times throughout the day and they always last for like seven to 10 minutes. I'm not kidding you. He has them for the longest time and I'm not surprised because he always had them in the womb. As of last week, he is weighing seven and a half pounds and he is 20 inches long now. To me, he's big, but whenever people see him, they're like, oh my gosh, he's so tiny. He is still currently in newborn clothes and he probably will be for the next month. I would say probably end of October, he might start moving up. He absolutely loves his being but when he's done with it, he's done with it. So he will use it to put himself to sleep and as soon as he falls asleep, he goes and spits it out and then it just sits like either right on his chin or on either side of his face and it's so cute. I'll insert some photos of his binky just hanging out around his face after he spit it out. He rarely, rarely cries. So the longest I've ever heard him cry was when he was taken away from me after being born, when he was weighed and they're stretching him out and like checking him out and all of that stuff. Besides that, he only cries when he's tired, like at night or when he's naked and cold. So after bath time, when he's naked and I'm putting lotion on him, he starts crying. That's about it. Like he's super easy and he's super easy to calm down too. He loves his snuggle me. So he sleeps in his snuggle me. I know that's controversial, but I've put him on his back in his bassinet without a snuggle me and he actually rolls over. He rolls over onto his side, almost over onto his belly. And the snuggle me actually keeps him like correctly on his back and we have the outlet sock too so i do feel comfortable with letting him sleep in his snuggle me because if anything were to happen our outlet sock would alert us anyways plus he's right next to me he loves being swaddled as well so if he's struggling to fall asleep for a nap i usually do end up swaddling him sometimes he falls asleep for naps without a swaddle but at nighttime, we do swaddle him every single night. So we have one of those swaddles that is Velcro and he stays in that all night long 
from about mm, 9 p.m. to about 7.30 or 8 a.m. and he loves it. And then currently right now he's still eating every two hours throughout the day and then at night he usually does five to seven hour stretches and then he'll be up every two to three hours until we wake up for the day around eight to nine a.m. And he is currently sleeping right now so I will show you guys what he's looking like. If you're a regular watcher you see him every single week but I still thought I would put a clip in here of him here is my sweet baby just taking his nap I don't want to wake him though I love this swaddle because it's super stretchy and I'm able to swaddle him tightly but he can also loosen it up a bit if he wants his arms to be not as tight I just wanted to make sure to put him in this video since I did talk about him a little bit all right so let's move on to my six week postpartum update I actually just had my six week postpartum checkup today and I'm cleared for everything that I need to be cleared for he said my uterus is looking really great my lady parts down there are looking really great I believe that my stitches are completely dissolved now which is awesome and then I would say I stopped bleeding at like five and a half weeks which is actually a pretty lengthy time to bleed but I did talk to my OB today and he said that it's actually pretty common for women to go all the way up to six weeks and sometimes for women to go beyond six weeks but he said that it's nothing to be concerned about and that it's pretty normal so something that I'm still battling right now is postpartum like heat waves or hot attacks one thing that I did not know is postpartum throughout the night you will wake up completely drenched in sweat like just soaked in sweat and that hasn't happened to me for a couple of weeks but throughout the day I'm telling you like half of the day I'm shirtless because I'm way too hot and then I'll be cold like right now and want to be wearing a sweatshirt so I always have like shirts and sweatshirts thrown all over the house because I'm always super hot or then I'm cold again and I'm just back and forth all the time and it's really annoying I usually got hot while I'm breastfeeding because the baby is like a heater. He's literally like a furnace on me. So I usually literally strip down into nothing and just breastfeed him. Six weeks postpartum, I have no more pain down there in my lady parts. I would say probably at one month postpartum is when I stopped having any pain down there, which is great. My emotions are a lot better. The first couple of weeks they were up and down especially at nighttime i know i've said this before on our channel but usually at nighttime is when i start to feel really anxious for no reason especially if my husband is working late at night and doesn't come home until i'm sleeping or at like nine o'clock i just feel really overwhelmed and upset and just sad because i'm alone all day like yes i have the baby and the dogs but it's not like adult human interaction for the most part i can't fit into a lot of my jeans because pre-pregnancy i was like a zero and i could fit into some double zeros and then some jeans i could fit into one but it honestly just depends on if they're high-waisted or low rise but for the most part i only have a couple pairs of jeans that i'm able to fit in and it's because my hips widened so so much throughout pregnancy that I'm definitely gonna have to move up I'm guessing that I'm gonna be moving up to a size 2 in jeans but we'll see I'll go jean shopping probably I don't know I feel like I kind of want to wait until I'm like three months postpartum to really see what I'm gonna look like but I am still wearing my maternity jeans because they're what fits me they are what's super comfortable so even though they're maternity I still wear them no one can see that they have a belly band and they don't look maternity either they're really cute most of them are from pink blush okay so I think that's about it as far as postpartum goes i'll go ahead and give you guys a belly shot to see how my body is looking it's definitely a lot better than my two week postpartum belly shot but it's definitely not where i was pre-pregnancy and not where i want to be but i mean i only gave birth six weeks ago so i have to give myself a little bit of grace okay so this is what my stomach is looking like from the front you can see like the lines right here, like this is what I want to get rid of because I did not have this 
before having my baby. And this dark line I want to get rid of as well. So I've been putting breast milk on it because I know that breast milk can help like with the pigmentation. And then of course my belly button is still pretty bad. For all of you ladies who don't have your belly button pierced and you plan on getting pregnant, don't do it because it ruins your belly button. It will never be the same, but it's fine. And then this is what I am looking like from the side. I would like to be <laughs> a lot less chunky in the front. Like you see this, like I look great like from the front when I'm standing, but like when I sit down, all of this is like right here and like loose. It's not even like loose skin. It's just like, I don't know. It's just like postpartum, you know? And it's like really squishy. And then I still have, oh, it's starting to tighten up a little bit, but definitely have loose skin up here. Not so much down here anymore, but yeah, that is what I am looking like currently. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out for this video. So the shout out is gonna go to Vanessa Hennessy. So shout out to you, Vanessa. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below. And now I am going to read a verse of the vlog. This verse comes from 1 Peter 2.16 and it says, live as free people. Do not use your freedom as a cover up for evil. That is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to be subscribed and comment down below. If you have any prayer requests, leave those down below as well. But if they're too personal, you can always DM either me or my husband on our Instagrams. You guys are loved and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.